right, Splatoon 3 getting ever closer? You gotta start wondering, what'll you be doing when Splatoon 3 comes out? Well, I've got 30 things that you'll do in Splatoon 3. Get it? 30? 3? Yeah. When you start the game, you're gonna have to make the heart-wrenching decision of story mode or multiplayer first. Ah, <laughs> no! Oh, oh, and when you look up in the Splatlands, I bet you there won't be a zap fish there. Then, you're gonna go into a match, and you're gonna pay too much attention to the music because it's so good. Maybe you'll accidentally jump off a stage seeing if you can make it from one side to the other. You could try to avoid this by playing in recon mode first, but playing the game is gonna be so tempting. You can get a glorious earful of information about new weapons in Splatoon 3 from your boy Sheldon. Woo! Or maybe the Agent 8, I don't know, man. Just like old times, you'll have to rebuy all of your weapons. You'll get to feel like a new player again. If you try out the new bow, get ready to miss a lot. <laughs> oh, and also, don't forget, you'll be super distracted by all the new color options in Splatoon 3. It might take a few rounds to get used to. If you're gonna play ranked, get ready for a lot of players that don't know what they're doing. They're just little babies. And in ranked, you'll have to play Rainmaker and see if they changed it again. You might try to play the game with the wrong special in mind. You can't splash down to save the splat zone in this game. Duh! There won't be an established meta, so everything will be good and bad simultaneously. You can yell about weapons to your heart's content on social media and defend your favorites. And you can probably get away with it. Now excuse me while I just... Okay, that's better. Wherever Judd is, you will find him. And you will make him meow. This is necessary. How will you resist checking in to see what changes have been made to the training area? This is more about me, but honestly, I'll probably end up buying one weapon to get each special as fast as possible to try them all out. And let's be real, you're gonna start your first few matches not knowing where you're going at all. And that's funny. And you'll get to squid roll for the first time. And at some point in that first match or two, you might get ran over by a roller while testing it out. <laughs> You're gonna use a weapon you love and realize it doesn't have the same sub-weapon that you're used to. Burst bombs? Nah, it's got split bombs now. And you know, those new specials are really strong. It'll be so easy to just use your special and go aggressing into your foes and getting splatted instantly for it. <laughs> Maybe learn to use that crab tank first before you just go on in. And you know, since everyone is wearing beginner gear, you won't know who's secretly a pro, especially not the sniper over there. Yep. Yep, you got splatted. <laughs> oh, oh, you're playing motion controls? I bet you'll flick the camera too far and super jump somewhere that you didn't even mean to. Same thing could happen with high sensitivity sticks. It doesn't matter if it's in the middle of the match or maybe even just in the plaza, but at some point, you're gonna mash that ZR button to see if squid bagging looks any better in Splatoon 3 or not. Gotta check those animations. Hopefully you don't do it right after splatting someone. <laughs> Speaking of getting splatted, you're gonna straight up destroy in one game and then get destroyed in the next. It's inevitable. Whoops. In one of those early games, you're gonna find some player who's absolutely 100% brand new to the game that didn't play Splatoon 2. And you're gonna wanna protect that sweet little baby. You know what's also part of the fun? You'll have to choose which gear you wanna buy cause you're not gonna have all that money anymore. No more 99999 coins for you. Similarly, you won't have all your old gear either. That means you'll have to start all your gear sets over. <laughs> Good luck not having that pure quick respawn anymore. And man, you'll feel like a real beginner because you'll be painting random objects and walls to see what's paintable or not. 
If you're feeling a little chaotic, maybe you'll see if there is any way to push overworld players out of bounds in the Splatlands. Evil. And last but not least, something we'll all be doing in Splatoon 3. Pressing the A button to read through the news. Because you know that it's going nowhere. <laughs> There's no escape.